Healing through dance. A Navajo family from Utah is traveling the country sharing a traditional dance rooted in a pandemic more than 100 years ago. Fox 13's Tamara Vaifanua shows us how the Jingle Dress Project took shape in a way that's positively Utah. Eugene Tapahi's photography business shut down last March as the world grappled with COVID-19. Then he lost loved ones to coronavirus. Feeling helpless, a dream gave him hope. I was sitting in, in my dream and I was sitting in this field of green grass. Eugene Tapahi remembers the dream vividly. All of a sudden, I, you know, on the, the, I started hearing jingles from the jingle dress. Days before that, he attended his aunt's funeral on the Navajo Nation, where there was an uncontrolled spread of coronavirus. So the nation was burying all the people who died of COVID all together. And so we couldn't even bury her in our family plot next to her mom and, and, and my mom. Tapahi replayed the dream over and over in his mind. I started looking around and, and I saw all these jingle dress dancers starting to dance up on the field. And I felt like, wow, you know, it, the, the scene and the landscape and the bison, it just seemed like they were all just unified and they were just kind of dancing with the bison. And it was just so beautiful. But when I woke up, I felt like I had hope and I felt like I was healed. The Art Heals Jingle Dress Project was born. Eugene's two daughters, Erin and Dion, would perform the Jingle Dress Dance. It's just such an honor to be able to, to do right now. Along with their friends, sisters Joni and Sunny Begay. Tapahi would capture images on ancestral lands and share on social media. The Jingle Dress is a healing dress and when you dance it um, sends prayers. The Jingle Dress Dance originated with the Ojibwe people native to the Great Lakes region during the Spanish flu pandemic of 1919. Some historians cite a story about a little girl who fell ill and her father had a vision. The tale says that, you know, the girls danced that evening and then by late, late night, the little girl was healed. As a Navajo who grew up in the Southwest, Tapahi had never heard this. The parallels were striking. The first photo shoot took place at the Bonneville Salt Flats. It was really windy that day. We didn't really know what to expect. They got ready and they started dancing. And it was just like my dream. It felt like I was in my dream again. Wearing the jingle dress is an honor because you have to be positive in your spirit, mind, body. From Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Yosemite, and Redwood National Parks, they logged thousands of miles across the country. Along the way, they gave people hope. Just recently just got a letter from a lady who said, you know, Please dance for my sister. She has, you know, she has cancer. The dance now extends beyond the pandemic. This is what we dance with, and we have it in a color red to represent the missing and murdered indigenous women. As strong, young native women. We all have different, um, different passions. I'm an environmental scientist. My sister is a journalist, and Sunny is a political science major, and um, Joe wants to be go to med school. Their voices spilled over to social media. <laughs> Erin was hired by TikTok to provide educational content and awareness. She has 75,000 followers. To be able to tell them like what's really going on within our communities and then to have people say how can we help has been just incredible.